YouTube channel. This is Jen Mado here with another video. So most of you have been asking, but where is this? This is how Jen Mado looks like. This is the real me, guys. So welcome back to this YouTube channel. Consider subscribing. Hit on the notification bell. Guys, subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Four things are coming up, guys. I'm going to kill you guys with videos. Like, I'm going to work like never before. So, guys, this is our village here. And today, I have another video in this village. I've traveled all the way from Iga to this place called Makenke. So, guys, we are going to interview a certain woman. She has a very, very interesting story for us. She has been, uh, like... Uh, Calling me someone, she told me someone is the one who gave her the video, and this person is called Esther. This person watches me like crazy. So the person gave my number and she called me. She, the first time she first beeped me, so I decided to call her and she told me, Can you afford to come here? So I was like, I can't, where is the place? So, guys, I don't want to talk too much because I have to go and interview this lady, and this is where the lady says. Cameraman, just show them around. Thank you. I love you guys. Just show them around. So guys, this is how the village looks like. Consider subscribing. Hit on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go. So guys, this lady whom we are going to interview as I'm going, she has a very interesting story. The husband ran mad but that one i did not like uh, i i have to confirm with her she told me that the husband ran mad and we are going to confirm with her and this is the house where she says and even this place where she says they are like demanding her like three months rent and she has to pay the rent and the lady is here with us guys there is nothing like he in my la in the Bantu language you say it okupanga. We are not like putting things up or something, but we are coming with reality here. You guys, the lady rents this place. This is where she rents and this is where she because this lady is an actually guys, so you might be wondering seeing this thing. This is how the Three stones of Ashwali. This is how it looks like. People from northern Uganda, you can bear me witness. So, guys, I'm going to interview the lady. She will tell us the story in details because we need the truth. And this is, we call this one Moyao. Not Moyao, we call it Yao because this is the, where the Shia butter comes from. So, I'll just interview the lady briefly. Let's go. Ma <laughs> so so guys what this lady was trying to say like her story i will try to put everything the way it is supposed to be she was just trying to say that her husband like he got sick and he ran mad but right now the husband is in the husband is in a tiak in amuru district these people they are unnatural guys so she is right now as we talk now she's the mother she's the father she's everything to these children and even uh, as we talk now the first the male first born in senior one like uh, the for the fourth born uh, she had joined senior one but even she did not do examination and even she joined late 
up to now the mother has not yet finished like completed like to pay the school fees and even we don't know whether she will go back to school again because right now we are stuck guys we don't just come and we form up a story and we come up with a story me i bring a real story from like i don't know like i bring the real real thing to you guys out there so guys she will continue with the story as i and as i keep on asking her several several questions so mama can we be in yaninga we be no can like can can ya be no can baba no to you united so car ma baba be no to united we are one we don't char are ma don't char luen ka kon luen ka kon luen ka kon ne ko nyu do na mo don ga ngo mama ki wen toro la mine o toro me ra ma diru toro min baba be no toro so no one ki nyala wana bi chen ende ko mo wana bi chen chan o don wana det ki mo ki kelo wa kere ki kelo wa ki fon bu ki trela so guys i was just trying to ask her like how did she come in ginger and she was like the father was working in ginger with my tail and the the rest of the parents the other side of she comes from lamu they were all killed by con you you guys know how that l r a things was in northern uganda and the, the history is there and you guys you can even go and you google and you read about the man called Konyu. so the the parents were killed the, the ones who remained and also later the father also passed on so she is she is, she does she is a total orphan she has no parents so uh -huh, mama yeah you go ginger can keep me transport me to the gang loya wan gilwen ni gilwen ni so baba to we ka put ana ti nyaga lo ti na ni wen me go nena lu nyoro na so won gi bene wi yo bale ane da dong baba adong mama adong ngaro mo ke ken 